why the Queen and Prince Philip don't share a bedroom. They've kept their distance over the years. Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip do not share a bedroom, despite having been married for 72 years. While the Queen has described her husband as her strength and stay, the pressures of royal life are likely to have taken a toll on their relationship. It's widely known that the royal couple moved to Clarence House following their royal wedding on November 20, 1947. Lady Pamela Hicks, a cousin of Prince Philip, told royal author Sally Bedell Smith that the couple had connected bedrooms, as opposed to sharing a master suite. In England, the upper class always have had separate bedrooms, she explained, adding, you don't want to be bothered with snoring or someone flinging a leg around. Then when you are feeling cozy you share your room sometimes. It is lovely to be able to choose. Her Majesty and the Duke of Edinburgh also do not engage in public displays of affection. However, Mike Meyer, an expert in royal etiquette, told people that there were no formal rules on royal couples being romantic in public. Senior members of the royal family would likely not be told how to interact or when they can or cannot show PDA and would be trusted to use their better judgment as to when it's appropriate, she said. The royals often adjust PDA to mirror the formality of the event they are attending. At a somber or more formal event, we are less likely to see PDA than at a casual event where it would be deemed more fitting. In particular, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry appear to be unafraid to hold hands and embrace in public. Presently, on their royal tour of South Africa, the married couple has been seen holding hands and placing their hands on each other's backs lovingly. However, Prince William and Kate Middleton have followed in the footsteps of the Queen and Prince Philip by keeping their public displays of affection to a limit. One of their only public kisses were on the balcony of Buckingham Palace on their wedding day.